And welcome back to another thrilling installment of No One Lives Forever with the indomitable Kate Archer. Super spy, super thief, super everything. Effective next Friday, you are officially transferred to the Mechanical Sabotage Division in Northern Europe. Please turn in your weapon before departure. So... What's the outfit here? Nightscope Robo Sniper Rifle. Super Atomic Laser Weapon, just for good measure. And the trusty Hampton 9mm silenced. Girl's best friend. Infiltrate the chateau. Standard super villainy so far, crates. And dank dungeon walls. I forbid you from setting off an alarm. Everything must go! The moon call, the moon calf is, I should say, with the font corruption. It's going out of business. Sale starts next uh, Tuesday in Paris. Explosives, office equipment, used armor, and much, much more. We don't know what to do with all these crazy bargains. I mean, in Monterey. What was that noise? Definitely not an international soup spy. Cannot escape. Ah! All right, we got shots fired. confusing to place the old slightly one kilt mysterious who do we know that wears kilts you there. me where who what Hello. okay we probably hey. need power for that that's all right buddy we'll be back we'll be back Nerd over, you say? You think we have our welding device? Weird. We just use the barrette for that. Oh, guess so. Oh well. I won't argue. Yeah, I will. Come on. Oh, he's our engineer with the power for the lift. I was the same guy calling outside it before. Who knew? Uh, secret bookshelf. Hmm. Employment opportunity, travel the world, top-notch security organization seeks motivated individuals for managerial positions, stock options, and 401k available. Call today. Ha, ah, enterprises. Saving the world so you don't have to. So let's try a fancy lift again. Aha! I get a real Juice X Knights Templar France vibe out of this section. I don't feel as though we needed to go up that lift to only go back downstairs again. I know this certainly gets us somewhere. Somewhere open and exposed. Oh. 
Okay, lock it up. Maybe we should throw her off a cliff. Did I ask for your opinion? No, but I was just thinking. Oh, you were, were you? Yes, I think keeping her alive is a bad idea. Is that so? You know how in spy shows the hero always gets away? Well, that just sets a considerable precedent, don't you think? <laughs> sure, it's just television shows, but it still makes me nervous. Take a look at her. Excuse me. I said look at her. You want to murder her? I don't want to. It just seems prudent. Prudent, eh? If you don't mind my saying so, you seem rather moralistic for a man who earns his living as a criminal. We've already killed thousands of people. What's one more? It wasn't me that killed them. You work for the organizations that did. Doesn't that implicate you as well? Yeah. They didn't ask me what I thought about it. Perhaps not, but you knew there was a possibility that such things could happen. Okay, maybe you're right. But that doesn't mean I want this girl with blood on my hands. Truth be told, I'd sooner kill you than her. Then I'll stop trying to convince you to throw her <laughs> off the cliff. That's prudent of you. <laughs> I must confess, I haven't been able to sleep since that explosion in England. Me neither, lad. Can I ask you a question? What would you do if I began walking towards a gondola dock with the intention of leaving this organization? I might give you a piece of advice. What would that be? Don't get yourself killed. The thought had occurred to me. I don't want Kill us any with a conscience. interruptions. Yes, ma'am. Wake up, princess. So, this is the indomitable Kate Archer. Super spy. I hope Armstrong wasn't too rough with you, dear. I'm not sure whether it's his Scottish blood or his peasant heritage, but he's rather lacking in social polish. Oh, but you're Scottish too, aren't you? Ah, how insensible. Baroness Dumont, you're not what I expected. Is that so? Sorry if I'm a disappointment. A disappointment? Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. Meeting your husband didn't lead me to expect much of the woman who'd choose to marry him. Oh, yes, my husband. He's a child in the body of a man. A rather large man. All I have to do is play mommy every once in a while, and I get to spend his money any way I please. And he has plenty of money to spend. <laughs> but enough about my vocation. Let's talk about yours. Your vocation? But I thought you were working for harm. Harm works for me, darling. I'm impressed. Not bad for a little orphan girl who went from princess to pauper. It takes a great deal of conviction to overcome adversity the way you have. Or a great deal of hatred. A little of both, actually. I wouldn't have expected such insight from someone like you. Well, perhaps you don't know as much about me as you think. I know enough. A girl spy in a man's world? That takes gall, surely. That you've been such a damnable nuisance speaks highly of your talents. But the fact that you're my prisoner suggests that you overestimate yourself. Just a bit. Little girl who thinks she can take on the world. Is that so different from a little girl that thinks she can take over the world? Well, we're both ambitious. Too bad your ambition is so petty. Is that what you think? You might have done great things. Instead, look what you've settled for. Exacting revenge on people who remind you of those snobs that ostracized you and your mom after that nasty business with your father. You call it revenge? I call it house cleaning. House cleaning? That's right. Every one of these smug blue bloods I scrub out makes the world a little cleaner. As far as I'm concerned, they're lint. Uh, excuse me, Baron. I said no interruptions!
options. Somebody shoot this man. Where were we? <laughs> ah, yes. You were moralizing. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that I can't possibly succeed. Not if I have anything to do with it. Well, you certainly have spirit. Unfortunately, you won't have anything to do with it. Not unless you can rise from the grave, that is. Are you afraid to die? I haven't given it much thought. Thanks to the incompetence of the insufferable Inga Wagner, you still have some time for reflection. My instructions were to give you a ten-hour fuse. But that bloated moron gave you ten days, which leaves you roughly 45 minutes to live. Oh, snap. I've been infected. At the club. That dart that hit my neck. Yes. And if it weren't for Fräulein Wagner's mind-numbing ineptitude, you'd already be dead. You get what you pay for. Isn't that the truth? You have no idea how hard it is to find qualified criminals these days. Nothing but misfits, mutants. I hope you don't expect sympathy. Not from a judgmental goody two-shoes like you. To you, I'm just a villain. Those pretty eyes of yours see only black and white. Well, sister, the world is a crueler mistress than I. Believe me, I would have gladly kept my dollhouses and fairy tales rather than suffering through what I did. But I didn't have a choice in the matter. You had a choice. You were just too weak to make the right one. You don't know anything about me, girl. You don't know what I went through. Those genteel bastards disowned my mother and me before the headlines even hit the papers. Now I'm going to show my gratitude by raining fire and destruction down upon their pedigree heads. Poor Felicity. The world spat upon her, so now she's going to show them all. Is that it? I didn't give you permission to use my Christian name. We've more in common than I like to admit. The difference is that I stopped taking my misfortunes personally. Everybody suffers, Baroness, but only cowards take it out on other people. Lord, you're a righteous little bitch. <laughs> Maybe it will get you into heaven. I suppose you'll find out soon enough. Get Armstrong up here. I want someone competent guarding this door. That's not a very nice thing to say. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> well, after you fetch him, how would you like to take yourself outside and have yourself shot? That'll give you something to complain about. Looks like you got yourself in a heap of trouble this time, eh, lass? How about a fight? What are you yapping about? A fight. You and me. Mano a mano. You're challenging me to a fight? If I win, you let me go. And if I win? I'm already at your mercy. Are you a sportsman or a bully? As entertaining as it sounds, I'm not about to stake my reputation as a master criminal on a dare from a wee little girl. Coward. Are you trying to provoke me? <laughs> You're just afraid I'd clobber you. Ha! I'd be more afraid of an angry chipmunk. I always figured you for a sissy. I dare you to say that again. Yup. We found the trigger. Call him a girl. Maybe you should trade your kilt for a skirt. Maybe you should shut your damn cake hole before I put my fist in it. You hit like a girl, anyway. If you're not careful, I'll fold you across my knee and thrash you till you shriek. Oh, that's right. I forgot you don't like girls. Say that again and I'll wash your mouth out with soap. Have you always been a coward, or is it a recent development? Don't provoke me, Missy. That's it! You pushed me too far, Gunley! It's on!
Are oh, you big girl? I'm strong. That'll be damned. Wallop to buy a girl. So, do you intend to keep your word and let me go, or do I need to pummel you some more? I may be a villain, but I'm not a liar. A promise is a promise. What about you? Time to look for a new job, I suppose. I'm definitely not sticking around here to discuss your escape with the Baroness. Maybe you should consider a legitimate career next time. My skill set is a bit too, uh, specialized for legitimate work. Don't you worry about me. I'll make do. I owe you. That you do. And don't forget it, either. Can I ask one more favor of you? You can ask. <laughs> the list of names. Where does the Baroness keep it? Sorry, I can't help you. Do you have any idea how many innocent people will die if the Baroness isn't stopped? What do I care? Don't give me that. Imagine some crazy woman with a chip on her shoulder blew up your mum. How would that make you feel? My mum's already dead. Answer my question, you big ox, or I'll pummel you so bad you'll be picking your own teeth out of your arse. Okay, fine, I'd be sad. Is that what you want to hear? I might even <laughs> cry like a ninny. Are you happy now? Just think about all the people that'll lose their mums and their sons and their wives, all because some power-mad baroness had a bad childhood. You want that on your conscience? All right, enough. Fine. As far as I know, she keeps the bloody thing in a safe in her underground lair. There's an elevator behind a wood pile downstairs. You're a resourceful lass. You'll figure it out. All right. So, let's find our way out of here. This gear in the cage would be too much to ask for. To see Claw, I am writing this with a quill and a piece of torn parchment for my Spanish captures. Uh, I will then hide it in the wall. Hmm. Well. Bonk. Softly, softly, softly. And where is said gear, I wonder? Probably not that way. No one? Where are you? Oh crap. Well, that didn't take much. I guess it's time to be sneaky. Yep. That didn't work either. We'd have to be in the path of least resistance, yeah? Over here, perhaps. Who's this here? Oh, damn it. Who 
is it? Well, that ain't gonna work. Accepting hints. Oh. oh. Aha. Well, we know where it is now. Bloody goats! You cannot hide anywhere. You can hide over here. All right, glorious. Weird this is all harder than the actual Marcus fight. Oh, thank God we're armed. Oh, that wasn't our gear. That wasn't enough of our gear. Meeting and close, find a proposal of a new 8,000 square foot square uh, Dumas Ski Lodge in the Italian Alps. Thank you! Let's head downstairs and kill those guys we saw. So has my so and so. Totally short on ammo right now. Oh, hello. What's this? Well, what do we have here? Underground Super Mega Base. I'll be in my room. Yes, ma'am. Do I even need to mention that I don't want to be interrupted? No, ma'am. Good. Okay, we have 10 minutes to find this sample. Or a burping, burping kapoop. Let me bouncing around on this thing here. But hey. I suppose that's for next time.